Another day, another Gotham Knights IGN video. They are doing, they're actually doing it. They're marketing the game. Holy shit. Let's Gotham do it, bro. Knights we're going to react to the skins. Oh, yeah, I forgot there's audio. Your characters to wear. And we're about to show you the designs for 28 oh, of them. Shit. From suits Here inspired we go. by classic cartoons. I'm actually kind of excited. I'm, I'm pumped to see what kind of skins they have. I, I've already seen some of them on Twitter. WB Montreal has but I think I'm missing a lot of them. The working game, how they can be customized, and more. Wow, okay. Yeah, I heard that you can mix and match them too, which is, that sounds very interesting. That sounds like a good idea. First, it looks so much better than the Avengers. Damn. Makes a distinction between okay. Gear, which is equipment you earn if I'm going to rank these, I got to rank them now. That's a seven right there. That's a, Okay, you know what? I, I'm going to give that an eight. And this is also not in game too, so. And the key to the philosophy here is that while nice. elements of them can be customized. I like that, I like that one. I like the white eyes. I like the, suits. the color scheme Player too. expression for us is very important hmm. but we wanted to make sure that we could harness that in a way Ooh. that was Ooh, damn. That's that's, that's a 9 bro that's a fucking fire skin right there that they all had their own really Ooh. strong personality and to do that that's we a 7 wanted to make sure that you always looked cool you didn't want to end he, that up does look cool though I'm like, looks kind of sketchy because you made bad fashion choices but <laughs> you're supposed to be always cool there will be 11 different suit style sets in Gotham mm. Knights at launch making up 44 individual suits in total. And there's no DLC either, they confirmed that. varied and eye-catching designs as possible, the character art team looked far beyond their studio walls. That's pretty cool. All we right. Knew we wanted to create this wide range of suit styles with a lot of distinct looks. So I think Ooh. we took an approach. I think, pretty I think both of those are like, that one's actually like a nine. The Robin one was like an eight. But that's a fucking good one. That would have uh, styles that kind of synced up with what we were looking for. Basically looked on the internet, you know, uh, various websites, various people's portfolios, various social medias, and then we That's ended up six. having artists from uh, Good Lord. Germany. <laughs> I didn't think it would keep Korea, going. Japan, US, all yeah. contributing Whoa. to generating ideas for this. That's cool, like a Jap really Japanese well, style red hood. Different suit styles were happening at the same time. That's so like an eight. Get I like that one a lot. Progress update from one artist, say from Germany, and then the next day we'll get something from Korea, for instance. That's so pretty. Us, that's a good idea for really creating new skins. Each artist's personal taste and their take on, on the on the suit styles. That yeah, I like I like what they for did here. Like the the Beyond one, like mm -hmm. the artist, the, his portfolio. Is okay, I don't really like that one. Someone, like, easily, I would say seventy percent. That's good though. It looks cool. What we were looking for, so that give us a sort of like that was a confidence. six. So. I feel like you get. Awesome results when you ask someone. That's for pretty cool. Kind of personal. Style. I like that one a lot. I like the the, the, the color like scheme of the red kind of going through his arm like that. More, it flows better for them, I think. Designing the that one was an eight. That Knights one's an eight too. True collaborative effort. That mask DC, I like. Of course, having its own input. This relationship apparently wasn't a restrictive one though, but one. Again, I'm about to see this one in. I mean, working in game. With DC that whole set right there. That's like an eight out of ten. That's a pretty cool cool set. Starts. In like, what do you, this is the direction we're heading. What do you I, think? I, the cool spots a fucking four. Direction? Good, yeah, was, good lord, hang on. That was god awful, and you can't tell me otherwise. Same thing with this. Look at Barbara's hair. Good, ew. <laughs> good lord. <laughs> the logo's ugly as fuck too. It doesn't even look like a bat logo. It looks like a sun, like a fuck, like, like the moon eclipsing the sun. It doesn't even look like a bat. What the fuck is that? It's a fantastic relationship. Like most of the time, we were encouraged to explore how would this look on my desk. Was was something they were imagining, or we heard more. I don't like this neo noir. We all agreed. Set. We all want this as a collectible. That thing I like the black, but I don't. I don't really know. I got to see that one in in game. That whole set is like a five out of ten. If I had to like put it on a, a scale, but man, oof. Ooh. While every suit style's over. Oh wait a second here. Night ops. Hmm. I like the militaristic look, but I can't tell. I mean, the only way you could tell that's Robin is because of a bow staff. You take that shit away, and I doubt you could tell who the fuck that even is. All design is somewhat fixed. Each one comes with customizable elements, yeah. further letting the player tinker yeah. with the look of their chosen. I like that. Night. I like Our the one for Red Hood. I mean, that kind of fits. And it looks like Arkham style. Knight, kind of. We honestly, will let you customize parts as we design. We will let you apply colorways because we know where they go on the, each individual suit. And really? We'll let you swap suit styles, oh. but we don't mix parts from one suit style to another. No. Because it would end up with very strange overlapping parts okay and we just wanted to make sure that we could always provide a high quality 
within each suit style. We have four elements that are customizable. The cowl, mm. the logo, gauntlets, and boots. So what they just said there is that you could customize each suit set and like each suit set and all of their parts kind of have four different parts. So it's kind of like in like a very dumbed down injustice, which I personally love. And if you could change the color scheme too, fucking bonus there as well. Like honestly, taking that inspiration, that is the best thing to do here. And thank the Lord they did not go with the Avengers setup. Because if they did, this would have been a shitter from the beginning. They were smart about it, and I love what they did here. Plus the colorway. So, for example, you might like uh, a minimalist version of the mask. I like that. I like it's like, yeah, it's you, you think the character more stealth-like Batgirl. See their hair or be able to see their eyes. There may be a version of the cowl that gives you more of the kind of the, yeah. The scary white see, I like eyes, that right? shit right there. That's so you cool. Have a version that completely covers the. That's face so perfect. You, uh, you know, oh, that's amazing. Kind of more intimidating visage as you're building your character up into this kind of new dark. That's a seven I set right there. That that's seven I out of ten. Craft a blueprint that says year one suit style on it. That's what it's going to look like. Oh now, yeah, we're going to get year I one. Decide later on that I would. I like, like that to Robin continue one. to look like that, even though I have a new suit blueprint. I don't like his hair, but I like style. I like his and design cool, for I have year a one. All the stats, but I don't like it as much as my year one suit style appearance. Nice. I can actually transmog over top of I like that. That, that makes me happy. Style. They're sort of thematically connected to the story as you play, and you keep getting Oof. blueprints uh, dropped to you by completing crimes. I like it. I wish they used uh, the OG Red Hood mask, though. Story. That would have been cool. As you or like the get hood. That stuff, and you, as you decide what to craft, every different it's suit has a suit style. They did really good on the suits. Choose what you like the most. You can choose what stats you like the most. And occasionally, if you're like, yeah, I really want to override the look of that suit, you can use a transmog to apply it. Okay. Transmogs are changes to your appearance that don't affect stats. Mm. One of these comes courtesy of oh, one of the artists shit. most synonymous with the world of Batman, Jim Lee. Oof. Getting those first sketches oh my like, god! Idea Good lord, it's Jim beautiful. Like, it's, it's, that's a it's, ten it's out of so ten. Process that's at that stage, like in their career and stuff like that. Yeah, so like <gasps> often you get the opportunity yeah. to see something like an, an I'm sorry, I'm making very weird noises, but god damn, that's a 10 out of 10. So, you know, classic. You know, at that point, we damn. Damn. Of of and we know this one is really is a callback. It's it's a lot of players going to be yeah. really loving this. Jim god damn, bro, it's perfect. Designs. A real pinch me moment for the team. <laughs> Anecdotally, we've heard a Show few, us all. Uh, Show them, like, them all. That is looking good. Do it. He likes it. Uh, he's seen a few of our character concepts. I know. Colorways are that extra layer on top. God but really damn. Allow for your Dude, it's perfect. Look at it. Just, just admire what they did here with that. In game, I really hope it resembles that. Right? I'm sure they're gonna just look exactly like that. It's perfect. Fucking bravo. Honestly. Hero to stand apart from the rest. They range vastly in the amount they differ from each knight's classic colors as well. This is right. A red hood nice. that isn't exactly red <clears throat> may raise a few eyebrows, but that's the point. Gotham Knights encourages you to change wow, up the designs might of your knights really to find your own that, favorites right? amongst the plethora of options available. Everyone will find a specific suit style that speaks to them when the game launches on October 25th. As for the character art team, they have theirs already. I'm going to go with Knight Ops. Red Hood. That's like my least favorite From set. Germany, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry, Germany yeah, guy. Yeah, that set was just. Batgirl and, and Red Hood were at the coolest looking ones, I guess. Out of that in, set, but that, I don't like the Nightwing and Red really Robin. Amazing. If you want to see these suit styles in full right, detail, that's make it. sure to head to IGN.com, where we have a slideshow so, gallery with each one. And for more from Gotham, we don't give a fuck. Anyway, like those suits looked amazing. Right. My only issue with this, if I were to have to like give my criticisms about this video, is that they didn't show it in game. Like I think a few of those we've already seen a lot of, right? Um, and that's cool. That's fine. I, I love that they showed us actual new ones and uh, they explained it in depth what we can actually do. And I'm very excited to actually get in and customize these characters because that's one of the funnest things that we can do in like superhero games, right? It's to create our own costume for these characters. And that's something that I think a lot of people are happy about with this. So tell me what you guys did in the comments below. I want to know what your guys' thoughts are. What's your favorite skin out of all of them? Personally, it's the fucking Jim Lee inspired one. You can't get any better than that. It's literally perfection. It should have been what these skins. The OG skin should have been, but it's all right. You know, I, I think that they did a great job, and I personally think that 
you know, if there's one bonus and, and you know, positive thing about this game, it's definitely the skins. I think that that's going to be one of my favorite parts about this game. So tell me what you guys see in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.